Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the two-player Nuzlocke of uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, which I'm playing together with Lock 70 Plays. Um, she'll be she's streaming episodes, I'm editing episodes for myself. You know the drill by now if you've been watching, and if you're just dropping in, well then go back and watch from the start. Why, what are you doing here? It's like episode 9 at this point. <laughs> anyway. Last time we made it to Hammerlock, and the first thing we'll be doing this episode is diving straight into a cutscene. So... Uh, is it not understandable that I'm slightly disappointed? <laughs> it doesn't evolve. I don't think I've ever seen anyone use it before. No! No! Ah, well, I'm done recording for this day then. Ah, what's the last time I saved? Okay, so it's like uh, the day over now because I got a bit mad at my game crashing and I guess we'll just have to take it from where we were. Um, yeah, not much else we can do. Thankfully we saved here. I lost like, what, half an hour of progress, which was mostly cutscenes, which I'll have to read again. But hey, it's fine. We'll just do it and uh, move on with it, right? Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, Beat. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the Chairman who endorsed you. If I got enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you. Right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's for the future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need more than just wishing stars. We need a powerful Pokemon trainer too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion endorsed trainers, just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit. It takes healthy competition to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger Beat, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? <clears throat> I hope you were listening in, Maddie. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dynamax bands. There's more to wishing stones than just making your Pokemon into giants, though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Galar region gets its energy. I really wish Oleana would disallow him from wearing those clothing. Like, seriously? Oi. <clears throat> oi, oi, oi. Well, we're here. This is... Uh... Hamelock Stadium slash energy plant, and as we all know from previous generations, nothing good happens at energy plants. <laughs> uh, I'm s assuming that's him. Hamelock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now, have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. What tablet? See? An easy to understand description of the energy plant. First, energy is absorbed from Hamelock Stadium's tower. Then it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Our lives as a society require various types of energy sources such as electricity, natural gas and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Liana decides to give me another earful. <laughs> Maddie, I suggest you head over to the next to the vault next. Just head to it's Route 6 from the stadium, and uh, you should find the vault without any issues. Sure, but before that, Ball Guy. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the Ball Guy. It looks like you managed to level up your team quite a bit. Well, guess what? I've got the perfect Pokeball to celebrate the occasion. A level ball. A level ball is perfect for high level teams. The higher your Pokemon's level is compared to the opposing wild Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch it. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? 
Never change, ball guy. Never change. <laughs> I don't know who came up with that idea, but that person deserves a race. He's one of the single best things about this game. Anyway, we're heading to the vault, but before we head to the vault, I have a few... Why is my game lacking like that? Hmm. Before we get to the vault, I have a few items I want to pick up. There's a hidden one back there. Uh, I believe there's a glint, yeah, glinty right here. Die hit, not bad. There is a guy in here with something special going on. He's just a weather guy. I'm not gonna read all his dialogue, but he's a weather guy who gives us weather, uh, weather based items that help weather conditions. For instance, right now he'll give us a heat rock, there you go, uh, which will prolong um, sunny day when used, well, when held by someone who uses it. So that's good if you ever use those. I'm not quite the gimmicky one myself, so I don't think I'll ever use it, but who knows. Strawberry sweet, rare can, oh, rare can is good. And a pair of wise glasses. If I remember correctly, see, I've already been through this because of the freaking crash. So, uh, my apologies if I don't seem as enthusiastic about going through it again today. Just could get the glasses because I don't recall us getting any items that are otherwise worth it for him. Anyway, H hello there. You look like someone I might trust. You see, there's someone I fancy and I, I, I written him a love letter. Do you think you might deliver it for me? Of course. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad I found someone like you to help me. My name is Paula. Here, here you are. This is the letter I want you to deliver. An old letter. Hmm. Deliver to Frank for me, won't you? Frank in Ballonlea. That's who you want. Okay. Sure, we'll deliver it. I do not remember if we get anything from that side quest, but you know. We're here anyway, and Balonlia is two towns over, so why not? Uh, alright, Leon. Hi, Leon. Maddie, seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But Hop, did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee. It might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I have no idea what it was for. Maybe he's feeling down because he's had some hard losses in battle? Uh, he lost his hand to beat. When you lose, you feel down in dumps. But then there's nowhere left to go but back up. You got to think on why it was you lost down. You know, that little brother of mine. I think he might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. Blast, I look at the time. Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Oleana really lets me hear it when I'm late. Now, if only I could remember which way to go. Hmm. Anyway, I'd say that you should go and say hello to Raihan while you're here, Maddie. He's the greatest rival I've got, uh, and the final hurdle you'll have to face in the gym challenge. He should still be around the vault, if you hurry. It's down that way, on the way to Route 6. This way, exactly. Follow me! Le Leon, this is not the way for your meeting. Is it... Hmm. There's no clothing that's worth anything in this uh, place, in my opinion, so I'm just gonna continue down. Oh, Super Rebel, nice. Repel. Hyper po Ooh, we do like that. That reminds me, did I fix my inventory before or after the game crashed? Uh, I fixed it before, good. I was worried that uh, I didn't have half the items I'd bought last time. So, continuing on, I cannot for the life of me, remember if I have to enter here in order to activate it as a fly to point, but we're doing it anyway, just in case. Uh, to X attacks. I believe there's like a something banned here. Muscle band. You can tell I've been through this a few times now. Ah. Oh, if it isn't a train endorsed by the champion. Let's see, what was your name again? Uh, one moment. All right, Maddie. And if Leon himself recognized your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Raihan has to prove they're up to it by earning 7 gym badges first. I already knew that. Ah, so you're here to see our treasures, are you? Gaining a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like a spirit kiddo. Follow me, why don't you? 
really have no idea what voice to give him, so I just... I think I gave him a different voice the first time through, but eh, it doesn't matter. I'll even spare you one of my lead cards. Just because I'm so full of myself, I'm expecting you to want a selfie with, a, with an autograph on. Now, on you go. It's, uh, if it's the vault you want, it's up the stairs there. Thanks, Raihan. Uh, I'm so glad. One thing I realized that's the difference between this game and the previous generation, you don't have to actually press a button to go through doors. Makes much more sense. There we go. Charm. Don't think we'll need it, but eh, might as well pick it up in case we ever do. Ready for some more cutscenes? Here's Sonya. Oh, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there are still treasured tapestries that can tell us of Galar's history. The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths. The youths looking on, uh, looking on at the sword and shield that stopped the disaster. The youths being crowned. These tapestries tell the story of the creation of a kingdom in Galar. Say, young Jim Challenger, what sticks out to you the most about them? The darkest day? Right? That's got to be it. The story of the black storm that blotted out the skies was passed on through the years as a tale of disaster. That's what the darkest day is. Hmm. Was there really only one hero? Or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. I think I've got some theories now. I'm going to research the tapestry a tad more, but you have a gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. I hope to see more of your wins. Thanks for the free money. Well, moving on, back down. We're gonna do the one thing you probably shouldn't do with a bike, ride it down the stairs. I don't think that's... Actually, for a normal bike, that's not good for the wheels. For a Rotom bike, I'm assuming it's not good for Rotom. <laughs> the tapestry in the vault depict the heroes of the Galar region's past. I suppose if we've got any modern hero, it'd have to be our champion Leon. At least not Maddie. Your goal is to defeat the superstar Leon, so go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to stay on site. Yeah, that's the plan. We are kind of low on levels. Unfortunately, at least lower than I want. Uh, one thing I did do for the crash um, was utilize these because Yosuke is almost evolved at this point. So we might as well give him a small push to get a bit closer. There we go. I believe it's level 25 evolves. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. Now we can get a Meow Stick, which by, by its uh, visuals also looks way more fitting for Yosuke, so I'm assuming that's why, uh, why Vox picked that name. I've noticed this uh, a running theme for a lot of our Pokémon. We have quite a cute-ish selection of Pokémon, which is not exactly going to help us a whole lot, unfortunately. Uh, since we're in here anyway... Get rid of all the markers. Ooh. And sort stuff. There we go. Okay, so um, we want to head out to the next route. The first thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna get attacked by Team Yell. Team Yell uses mainly Dark type. For Dark type, um, there, wrong buttons. There is no reason not to have Sonic up front. We're still only allowed to run a team of um, three Pokemon, and I can level up to level 36, 36 at the moment. So we should, well, I mean, the problem is we are roughly around 30, uh, level 30 right now, which is not ideal because the fact that level 36 is, is where our max is right now means that that's probably, if I remember correctly, what the max level of Alice and bees <sighs> signature Pokemon are. What a cute silly cobra. Just look at those adorable eyes. It's our duty as Team Yell to make sure Silicobra gets a nice peaceful sleep. 
Hello there, if I promised not to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course, it'd be a presser. Oh, hey Maddie, you're heading to Stone's side, right? Oi, Team Yell, don't suppose you'll let us through? Nah, you kids saying the are way too loud. Can't be letting you through. And how we protest the 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 and we're particularly not fond of kids wearing a challenge band. Well, all you're stumping around, so Cobra is sure to wake up. Right. What do you say, Maddie? If we don't get past them, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge at Stone Sight. Let's battle them. You. Yeah, that's the spirit. You're too, way too noisy. You don't want to wake up Sir Cobra now, do you? I swear, kids these days. Well, we got no choice. We have to send him packing. It's all for your sake, Sol Cobra. A bit of crazy freedom in the wording there for me, but you know, better that than constantly repeating all the same sentence, right? Anyway, uh, I believe Stonky has the typing that actually makes my attacks not super effective, unfortunately, but it should still not be a problem. You're faster than me. <coughs> oh no! You, you you poked me. Yeah, no problem whatsoever. And the fact that we lowered speed should make it so that... Oh yeah, I forgot that. We have Shell Bell. I should switch that for leftovers, to be honest. Remind me to do, <laughs> remind me to do that, I say, to you who cannot... Oh, right, Aftermath. Ugh. Uh, it's fine. So... Um, this battle should really not be any trouble whatsoever. There is a battle upcoming on the other side of these guys that I'm way more worried about. Uh, you're gonna be, you're gonna be confused when I say it's it's a Clefairy and a Clefable, which you wouldn't think that'd be much of a problem, but they scare me because they only have Metronome, and that can result in um, self-destruct. And if they do that, that would be one sucky way to lose a Pokemon. Um, fairy types are weak to do, 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 poison steel. Oh, we do have a poison type. It might be worth me to go and... Oh, blimey, even your battles are too noisy. I have to go and level up my poison type, to be honest. Think I'll leave this to you, Manny. Keep up the pace. Come on, hop. You didn't lose to them, did you? Lipod. Pure dark type? No problem. Should be just one kick away. From victory. <laughs> victory. There we go. Oh, assurance. That's a dark type move, so it's not very yeah, not very effective. No problem. Doink! And bye. There we go. Boom boom boom. Uh hmm. Ah, oh, nice level up. All across the board. Retaliate. Alright, we're not going to use this because it's a it's an attack that gets stronger when an ally faints. I don't want things to faint in this playthrough. I mean, it could be it could potentially be useful against uh, Vox, admittedly. Uh, but, uh, why do I even bother? I think that's what she said. Silly Cobra might wake up after all that ruckus. Then there's no point in us sticking around. Let's get out of here. We'll make these boys and kids holler some other day. Yeah, you better leave, bastards. Maddie, you and Sork were brilliant together. Hmm. See, Pete really wiped the floor with me the last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I can take a loss. Badly means you've got to lose sometimes. Hmm. But he said that I was dragging Lee's good name through the mod being so rubbish like I was, and I just can't get those words out of my head. If I'm weak, then people think we at least weak too. But I don't want that. I can't let Lee get dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion. I'm gonna have to make, you know, to take some time figuring out, figuring all this out. See you around, Maddie. Bye, up. Oh, morning, silly cobra. How ya doing? Oh, okay. Yep, sure, just ignore me. Doesn't matter. 
You're one of the gym challengers endorsed by Leon, aren't you? My name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my league card. I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. You do realize it's illegal to stalk people, right, old oldie? No? Okay, no word? Bye. I guess that's the good thing for you about me being silent pro attack. I'm not exactly gonna protest. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> okay, so one thing about Route 6. When I tried to record last time, I, I picked a um, random encounter. And I will do exactly the same again because I want to honor my original choice. Just gonna be transparent about that. Uh, as you might have seen, I probably, I'll probably um, put it in at the very start of this episode. Uh, so you might see that I was up against a Durant. I cannot guarantee that will happen again because that's the nature of, you know, random encounters. It would be ideal if that happened again. Not because I want it, because I absolutely don't. But then I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, changing the timeline, I guess, if you want to look at it like that. Uh, but before we can even get to that, we need to defeat this train in front of everything. And to do that, it is possible to do it with what we have. Uh, I kinda want to use something... Okay, I need either a poison or a steel attack. 28, that might actually be alright to bring along. Organa, you're getting benched for a moment here. We should be fine. I believe Sonic took down. Um, might uh, took them down last time, mainly because I'm, the thing is, it might be Fairy type, but it only has Metronome. So what happens is that I don't have to worry about it, it uh, killing me with with um, Fairy type attack. So, <clears throat> but yeah, I need to hear. Um, she carries around both a Clefairy and a Clefable, and it worries me greatly. <laughs> So let's see if we can uh, win here. Venice York. It should be super effective. It is, and we're only like one level lower than it. Metronome. Poison Jab. You know, using poison against poison is probably not gonna help you a whole lot, man. Okay, oh right, I forgot we called this one Michelin. <laughs> right, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, this is this is much better than than uh, before. Much better than in the alternative timeline that I lost. No, nothing was lost in in that timeline. So it's, uh, just so you're aware, I just it just took forever to get through this battle because I was playing it way careful, and forgot to bring a poison type, even though I knew that this woman has these Pokemon. So yeah, I'm just saving time this time, thankfully. There is a problem with Clefable though, it's hella tangy, so it probably will take like a 5 hits with Venusioc. Hopefully not, hopefully it'll just crit and it'll go straight through it all. 1, 2, 3, yeah, probably 5 attacks, ah, that's annoying. It's not much better than using Sork then, which is hilarious, to be honest. Heat Crash, that does not seem good. Okay, let's not lose Missy Ling. We only got just got him last episode. I would I would much prefer not to lose him. So, um Clefable, please don't use anything that's super effective against me again. Keep keep using Venom. Horn attack. That's also super effective, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay, we're just gonna Venom shock you again. Okay, actually two more hits should be good enough. I'm a bit worried. Bit worried. Double team. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Makes it harder to hit, though. Okay, actually this is probably where this battle starts becoming annoying. Okay, we, we did hit. So, it should just be one more hit. I am so not liking this metronome deal. Worry Seed. 
Oh, well, it just makes it so that I can't fall asleep, so thanks. Well, I te technically it also replaces my battle armor ability, which I honestly have no idea what does, so... Yeah, that's that. Okay, this, this was scary, but it worked. Also, I just realized Michelin took that out all by itself. Nice. So, we're gonna go back and heal real quick, because, hmm, it's probably easiest to just uh, fly there from here. Loading time's gonna be the same, I just don't have to walk there. Menu time should be faster than riding the bike, so. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, there's should probably have stepped off the bike before I do that. Did that. Did do. Whatever. Um, so the route we're on has stuff on it. Derp. No, I don't want to heal again. Uh, Stone side is the next town over. Hmm. I'm a bit worried about what the levels for wild encounters are around here. I'm thinking they're around 30, right? So we're not totally on the level, but we might have to spend some time leveling before we take on the gym of the next town. But first, I want to catch something, and I want this game to not crash on me while I catch something. Was that a random encounter? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I guess I'll catch a, a hippo. What level are you at? You're probably higher level than me, aren't you? Why did I not switch to my front runner? Yeah, I should have switched my front runner. This is probably not going to work, but I'm going to take my chance regardless. Actually, come to think of it, did I ever go back and get my leftovers? It worked! Wow! Okay, that... That was lucky. Normally when you're underleveled, it does not go that well with just casting things right away. Um... Oh, hmm, what do you call a hippo that's male? Um, oh, how do you spell that? Um, one moment. Yeah, this is Murray. A Sly Cooper reference, because why not, right? That worked out surprisingly well. Let's remove him from the team right away, because we don't want to do some dumb stuff. Gotta put him here. Oh yeah, if you wondered about the box, I restructured the entire box off camera to be um, in chronological order of when we got them. <laughs> so you can see the three spots that are open right now. Oh, actually... Wait. Why... Did I catch Skoropi before I got... I probably did. Eh, whatever. But yeah, I, I tried to sort it so that it's easier to keep track of like that, uh, for me, off, off camera. But yeah, um, that is not a bad catch. Alright, as you check for the left over swap held item. Oh, you can't do it like that? Okay. Held item. Open your back. Did I go and get the left over worse? I didn't. Okay. Well, the difference between today and yesterday is that there's a much higher risk of... I actually pulled off something really cool yesterday. I'm not cool, something really funny. Uh, I might just put it on screen. If I don't, then I'll just describe it instead. Or I could describe it while running up. I'll probably put it on screen and describe it at the same time. Um, so what I did was I ran into the area and I... <sighs> I had to encounter, like, I have Nosleaf, so I didn't have to run into them because they are already, like, I can't catch that again so I can ignore them. But I had to run into anything else I saw and check if they were a level that I could actually deal with and catch. And to my surprise, none of it was. So what happened was just me, random encounter, heading out, random encounter, heading out. I managed to get the leftovers and not, like, encounter anything, which was kind of funny. But yeah, <clears throat> it's the area right over back here. Uh, we're gonna do... 
first thing we see. Giant seed, this is it. Okay, I saw you, Bronzo. Are you still too high level, though? No, you're not. Oh, okay. Now here we're going. Now I can actually catch a Bronzo. Not Bronzo. Okay, you're just barely. Yeah, just double checking my map. I have not. This is not gonna work, I can guarantee you that. It will pop out instantly. It, yeah, there we go. Almost instantly. Uh, Bronzor is... Steel type, right? So I shouldn't have to worry too much about... No, it's not. It's not super effective, but it's fine. It's like five levels higher than me, so... Yeah, two more of those should be fine. Since I heal every time I hit it, as long as it doesn't have something crazy going on for it. We should be fairly fine against this. So we're gonna do another low sweep. Okay, I'm probably not gonna hit it one more time because I do want to catch it. Extra sensory, that is psychic. Ouch. Okay, hmm. Do we have an. I'm a bit annoyed that it, I, I'm not recording later because I would have loved to have used the Dusk Ball and, and gotten better chances of catching it. But I have to just do with a Great Ball and hope that it doesn't mind. Please. Ah, there we go. Okay. Catching luck continues to be decently good today. So we can cross Giant Seed off the list as well. As a place we've caught something. Why did I? That's just the sound of the pen. Don't mind me. Um. Yeah, cool. Okay, so that's like two, three more locations. We There's two more locations down here south that we can go to. That would be Axius Eye, which we can only go to when we can swim, or uh, sail. And then there's South Lake Meloc, which I'm going to wait with. Uh, Bronzor. Bron Bronzor. What do we call you? And what do you evolve into? You evolve, you evolve into that clock thing. Um, how do you spell Quasimodo? Quasimo... There we go. Q... U... A... S... I... Modo. Because he becomes a bell, right? Seems fitting enough for me. Okay. Okay. Don't want to encounter you, mate. So we're just gonna grab the leftovers that we didn't get yesterday. Uh, might as well grab the points while we're here. Now we're just gonna jump straight back to where we were, right? Back to Route 3. I'm so... no wait. <laughs> route 3? What am I doing at Route 3? Boy. I am not far enough north on this map, am I? Oh, I just came to the realization why there are tents on so many of these routes. Those are the fly two points. Huh. I guess you should talk to the tent people then. I never realized that. Hmm. Also, don't worry, I haven't forgotten that Bronze Pro Quasimodo is currently on our team. I just want to heal up, you know? Before I throw him off. Bronzo? Quasimodo could potentially be good? Maybe? Oh, something else I want to show now that I am recording anyway. We should real quick just check this as well. No. No. Okay. So what hap what I noticed was that I got this. This is uh I got a Pokemon with a ribbon. It's uh, so this is now Miku the Sleepy. <laughs> Which is kinda cool, kinda cute. So yeah, just wanted to show that off. Not every day, I, I think that I believe that's like really rare, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Gotta give Sonic that one. Do we have anything that boosts uh, specifically sound based moves? Okay. Water type, do we have anything that boosts. Uh, what is it called? Poison. Ground. Buck. Uh, yeah, I guess we can give this one to Michelin so that it can at least get a boost to its Bok type moves. And since this is roughly where I made it to before the game crashed last time, I'm just gonna save real quick because I'm I'm not trusting this game that much anymore. 
I know I've said multiple times throughout the playthrough already that I'm saving for that specific situation. I didn't expect it to actually crash on me. Especially when I'm catching a Pokemon of all things. Oi. But yeah, now we just need to venture through... Um, through here. I know that... See, I'm very um, partial to wanting Ghost-type Pokemon. And you could have got... I could have gotten your mask on this route. But I'll be honest with you, in this specific situation where we're playing a Nostlock, I'm kind of fine with not um, getting it because it's such a risk trying to get it down to enough health that I can evolve it. Also, Heliolisk not bad for just simple XP farming, but it's not a whole lot of XP every time, so probably not the best. Um, I believe there are two NPCs over here that I... yeah. Dual battle. Um... Actually, dual battle. That means I have a, an opportunity to try and practice here a bit. Do we have anything that could work for... I don't remember what typing they're running. That's a bit of a problem. I probably want Morgana up here just for... Oh, I put Morgana there. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Um, I probably want Morgana up here just to help out. Um, wait a second, didn't this one have like something that's actually useful for double battles? Disarming voice, fake out, nah, not really. I need to look at the setup of TMs and stuff for these Pokemon as well before the next Fox battle. Hmm. I'm... The Pokemon we've caught in the wild area last episode and, well, also this episode, I'm a bit in two minds about uh, what to do with them. Because I'm not. Most of them are things that I've always looked at and been like, yeah, that, that needs to go in the decks. And that's about it for my relationship to them. Good thing here is, Boneyard is um, straight up still type, so it should die to one kick. Tokitik is like fairy. Feeling a bit annoyed I didn't bring the other now. I'll lower Togetic's speed stat. I'm not sure how fast it is, so better safe than sorry. Thankfully these guys only have one Pokemon each, so it shouldn't be this that bad a battle. And Togetic is evolved Pokemon, so it should give some decent XP. Okay, it was always slower than me. I have I guess that was Deja Vu. I might have Oh yeah, over on my Monotype run, I did the exact same thing, didn't I? <laughs> oh, Okay, so we're just gonna low kick you, and I'm thinking we just shadow sneak you, because you're not, like, you should be susceptible to ghosts, even if it's not super effective. Yeah, it's not the best damage, but it could have been worse. That, on the other hand. Oh, it resists uh, fighting, doesn't it? Ouch. Okay, I should get you out of here. I completely forgot that it's, it's strong to its fighting. Um, so we will take Sonic out of here, replace him with Yosuke, and I guess we'll try and raise a blade. Oh, that hits both? Huh. That surprised me every time, I know. It's so rare you do, do double battles in the story mode that I just keep forgetting. Uh, doesn't do that much more. It actually does less damage, doesn't it? Okay, that's not too bad. Um, I'm assuming that this is not going to deal a world of damage either. Togetic is surprisingly tanky, isn't it? I had a feeling that was the case, to be honest. Oh, we're so close. Ancient power does not seem good. Okay, it's not that bad. Wouldn't that have been better for them to use on my... On, on, uh, on Morgana, though. Morgana's part grass. Shouldn't that be super effective against me because of rock and grass? Or is it bark? Ah, oh, these typings, I swear. Oh, I can't remember. Doesn't matter, we took it out like the trash it is. I know I've used that joke way too many times, but I mean, they're trash. Unfortunately, they're also toxic trash, so now I need to go back and heal again, which is unfortunate. Uh, Back and forth. 
Unless, I mean, I could also just not be a cheapskate and use some healing items. I have plenty of them. And I shouldn't need that many for uh, the upcoming battles in this area. Plus, getting some use out of the potions shouldn't be a problem. I'm not likely to use the lowest tiers anyway. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. We're gonna clear this area of stuff. So we're gonna head up this ladder. I know I said that right after heading up the wrong one. There is a woman here. I, uh, hmm. Yeah, I think we'll keep the composition as they are right now. I still don't like the fact that I'm this low level. We might have to do some grinding, which I'm not happy about, but it might need to be done. You have Sork too? How's fighting against fighting? Uh, da, 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 da. No, nothing. Okay, so it's yours against my they're even same level. Okay. Who's faster? Sonic is faster, because it's Sonic, of course. And a critical hit. Damn, nice, son. And what are you gonna do about that? A double kick? Oh no! You're gonna kick me twice! Yeah, and then I'm gonna heal with the leftovers. Thank you very much. It's not a lot, but it's enough. I'm gonna low sweep you and take you out. Was that the only problem with yet? I didn't actually pay attention to that. If it is, that just makes this battle much more short. Can level up, good. Okay, cool. Um, we are gonna use Joske for the next gym because Joske is well psychic, and the next gym is uh, fighting. So, and we don't really have anything else that is good against fighting. Very psychic flying. We lost our bird. We have our Noibat, but it problem with Noibat is that it uh, takes a while before it becomes useful. I think I said that last episode as well, which is a dang shame. Shame because I actually thought it was gonna be. I thought it was a really good catch when I got it. Turns out it's it, it can become good, just not yet because I'm not allowed to use it or to. Well, I suppose I am allowed to level it up to the point where it evolves. I just can't use it until I get to the proper point in the game after that. Therein lies the ex issue. So, um... That was a small chunk of this area. Gonna take a gander at the other part as well, since we're here anyway. Just starting by exploring. We can always do battles after we're done cat uh, gathering everything. Um... Uh, I'm not afraid of you. Actually, that's an item here. Two rare bones, more money. I'm not afraid of you. Uh, boom, 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 boom. What do we do? We clear this route so that we get to stay on site. I would love to take out the gym today, but I'm a bit worried I might not be a good enough level for that. You're a poison type. Hmm, psychic type. I forgot. That's good. I am quite a bit lower level though, so now I'm worried again. <laughs> Cone Claws. That's... I mean, it buys me a turn, but it also means it hits harder from now on. I don't like that part, but Side Beam should hopefully help a lot. Or just straight up take it out. Works for me too. <laughs> Good. No need to worry about being two levels low when you can just take them out in one hit, right? Uh, Ponyard. Okay, that's a simple one. Sonic, you're back out. Just need to kick it out here. Du, 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 du. <laughs> Boneyard. Level 30 again, not a problem. I see the train is being level 30 here. I'm starting to wonder if I... Did I miss up something in my guide? I shouldn't have. I spent a lot of time on that. I'll check it in a moment. Once I'm done with this battle, um, I'll just take a moment to look at... Something real quick. And I might cut it out, we'll see. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. No, I can confirm I have not typoed anything. The next team, uh, Alistair and, and Bay's, no, B's max level signature Pokemons are definitely level uh, 36. 
So, yeah, we need to do some training. I expected, I wanted to do it as much anyway, but I figured it wouldn't hurt to look up the facts just in case. Uh, what are we going up against? Dog Trio. Dog Trio, Dog Trio, Dog Trio. Here, mm -hmm. ground type. Rock type? Ground type? Which type? You can suck a punch? It's not going to be very effective, mate, but sure. Wait, how can you suck a punch me without arms? Huh, Postler. You know, when I played Generation 5 casually, one of the first things I did uh, when I saw Sork and the counterpart was ironically say, oh look, it's not Hitman Lee and not Hitman Tian. Because they are so weird and dumb, and I thought they were useless, but I've actually come to appreciate this. The user, uh, this Pokemon, the user mimics the target completely, copying the target's ability. Oh, Yusuke, you have such interesting attacks for support. It's first, um, flinch, some voice. Ah, like to type courage. Wait, you're not, you're not fairy, so there's no point in that, right? Gotta give it roleplay, it could be interesting. I'm not sure if I'll use it, but now I have it, and I can always fix up the uh, move pool later if I make up my mind that I did, th that I did in fact make a mistake, which is not unlikely to happen. <clears throat> But with that, we get Steel Wing and basically clean up this route, I'm holding the last trainer and the berry tree up there. So... Okay, I thought for sure I got seen by the trainer, not the random encounter. It's still, we'll just take it out, might as well get the experience points. We... oh wait, we have two more trainers, we have... Excuse me? Okay, um, I wouldn't expect Dick to actually hit, or rather hit hard. No, not harder than I expected at least. Now I get a bit worried though if, um, if the trainer will see me right when this battle ends, because if, if she does, I might have to spend the first turn just healing. Could not dump in a high roll, damn it. It's gonna dig again. No, it's gonna agility. Sharply, that's three steps up, so now it's faster than me again. Is that what you're trying to tell me, game? Yeah, it is. Block bite. Uh, not that problematic? No, at all, not at all. Okay, so if I can manage to pause, I might go and heal before we... Uh... Okay, the camera seemed to kind of like move to the side there, so I got a bit scared. Just gonna heal up real quick. Ah, okay, she hasn't noticed me. Um, I'm in a really weird position where I'm basically hiding by the tree. Well, that was quick, I guess we just get two citrus berries. Shame. Um, yeah, she will take her out. Hello. No, I'm not gonna fill my Cory decks. For one, it's a lot of work. And secondly, Rue, I'm not allowed to in the Nostlock. At least not until we're done with the Nostlock. That guy. That's the other guy. <laughs> what was it called again? Thor throw. Sork and throw. Or throw and sork? Sork and throw. Sounds better. So this should not be very effective at all, right? Yeah. Well, it's not not effective, but it's not dealing that much damage. Excuse me? Uh, fighting, 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 psychic. You know what? You just made the mistake of your life, mate. Yeah, I'm even faster than you, damn. Oh, you're beefy. Storm throw. That's the same attack again, isn't it? That was a critical hit. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really worried about you, throw. 
I'm just gonna, you know, poke you with a laser beam and say bye. Ah, no problem. Okay, this route is turning out to be quite simple to clear. Like, it, it was a lot more challenging on the Ghost, uh, ghost um, Monotype run. But, yeah, this is not a problem. Um, there's one more trainer to go before I can enter the town, so we'll just head back and heal real quick. Uh, we're not gonna be able to do the gym today. That is annoying. That means next episode might be a bit on the shorter side, and we'll probably start with me grinding, unfortunately. Hmm. But I'll make sure to give you a time code on the screen that will let you know when and where to jump to. I actually got to think of it... Yeah. I'll... Hmm. Come on. Alright. Safety safe. I don't want to do all that again. There we go. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have. I bet I have to to uh, to grind some levels. I wonder where I should go and do that though. Where would it be most efficient? Becomes the question. Because I kind of want to take something out that's in the second state. Um, but I also need to be able to use something that is already at a high-ish level to do it, and I don't want it to be a too high risk either. Is that crazy artist dude here? I think if we just continue with our setup as we are. Yeah. Thankfully, Sork is almost at a level where he's actually just ready for the uh, the gym challenge. I'm thinking we level them up. We level things up to around 34 or 35. That way, we should be fine. <clears throat> and then, hmm, yeah. You poison. You're not very effective against me, right? I have no. I'm not very effective against you. Okay, maybe I turn that one around then. No! 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 Oh! That scared me! <laughs> oh! Oh. 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 oh! I thought for sure we lost Sonic there! He is way more resilient than I gave him credit for! Holy... The user slams a barrage of heart shield seats down on the target from above. That's... Oh, Resilience is still good because it can crit more easily. Uh... Uh, I'm gonna do this instead. It's like, it's higher stats all, overall, there's also not a 5% chance of missing. Only I mean, it doesn't... hmm. Got to think of it. Oh, I need to check if these seats are multi-target or single-target, because if they are single-target, it might still be worth running with Razor Leaf. The Sudowoodo is ground rock? Ground or rock? If I remember correctly, I think Sork should still be fine against this. If I remember correctly, yeah, it's one of those where I'm like, wait, but if you hit a rock, your hand's gonna hurt. But then I remember, oh right, there's a sport where you actually destroy rocks with your hands. So, yeah, it's, uh, and actually he's pretty much the right outfit for that. That makes me wonder, are those clothing that Sork wearing, are they like, actually part of him? Or is that clothing he gets somewhere? Uh, questions you shouldn't ask, I guess. I'm, I'm assuming they're part of the Pokemon. Sorry, Duncan. <laughs> kind of destroyed your life there, didn't I? You at least look like you're dead inside. Okay, so we have now arrived in, in Stow in Sto on site, which is a weird name for a place. But my, one of my British friends had told me that apparently it's not uncommon for towns to be called that. Mostly when they're on rivers, but not. But also sometimes when they're on, like, let's say, um, 
a mountainside, I believe it was, or something. We'll heal up real quick here. Now remember that once we enter the gym, I'm allowed to use four Pokemon. Which is nice, because I'm looking forward to being able to do that. Um, I'm just gonna restock on these. And I don't like having such a... Oh, no, no, no. Such a weird number of potions either. They're good for, like, just field recovery, to be honest. Even if it seems a bit of a waste. But we have so much money, so why not? And you know how we can make even more money? This NPC right here. Hey, dude. You want to buy uh, Stardust? Sure, I'll sell you my Stardust. We do that once a day. I see you, Hop. And what is today's bargain? Metronome. You know what? We'll buy it. Might as well. I'm not even sure what it does. An item to be held by Pokemon. It boosts moves used consecutively onto a different move is used. Oh, so if I used that together with Echoing Voice, Echoing Voice would get a double boost because it also gets boosted by itself. That is an interesting thing to consider. But for now, um, I'm just gonna explore what we can of this town and then we're gonna start off no you know what I'm gonna trigger the cutscene right up here right after we've explored the town just so we can get it out of the way before next episode there's no point in starting next episode and the first thing we do is watch a cutscene just to jump jump into uh... no actually time wise it makes sense for me to stop once I'm done here because I also have a few minutes of footage before the actual run uh, episode starts so we'll just grab the few last trinkets around here and hope that man doesn't fall off because that, that's a peculiar spot to be sitting. He's not afraid of heights. Ooh, then a shock. We already have a Pokemon with that. But yeah. Um, come on. While I walk out to the main square, um, I'm just gonna say thank you very much for watching this episode of uh, the Nostlock. I'm sorry that it had to be restarted midway. Not much I can do when Game Freak can't make a game that doesn't crash. But um, thank you for watching and please take care until next time. I will see you by then. Bye for now.